Hey everyone, and welcome to my first look at Six-Sided Sanctuary. Six-Sided Sanctuary is a puzzle game based around being a cube and, uh, you know, like, picking stuff up, basically. You'll see soon. First thing I'm going to do is show you the options. Uh, we can have hints, which I will have on for you guys. Even I don't even know everything about the game yet, honestly. I've played a few levels. There are, I believe, 28 puzzles currently. And uh, there are a bunch of res resolutions. I'm playing in a 4-3 resolution because that's the best way to play the game as far as I know, um, look-wise. It's got full screen. You can turn off the, the music. is amazing. It's just like it's so calming and nice and just I love it. Uh, you know, counter is going to be your move counter, I believe, because uh, based on how many times you move, that's where you get your score. There is a, a way to check your scores besides on this as well. If you sign up for a little window that'll open up along with the game, uh, you sign up on the developers forums, Poe, or uh, you know, well, you know him as Poe probably. He also did the um, script to remove video times that we all know and love, hopefully. Uh, yeah, this is his game along with a couple others for like music and such. Uh, but yeah, these are the options. You can change the controls. I have changed the controls actually and uh, he knows about one issue that I'm about to bring up with uh, the fact that basically um, confirm is usually X and cancel is C and I changed those to space and escape because they, they're what is natural to me. Uh, so let's escape and those still say C and X on the sides. He knows about it. He's gonna work on that and uh, when I just click play that still says X, and he's going to fix that as well. Uh, but anyway, this is our kind of hub world where we go between all of the puzzles. And you can see we are this cube that moves around. And, uh, you know, I will show you the tutorial. Of course, I have to press space, and the game is telling me to press X, and that's a little bit disorienting, but that'll be fixed soon. Panels attached to your sides. So, uh, basically, we have this wood panel on one side now, and uh, that means that we have to worry about whether or not we can get it uh, next to this so that we can walk on it because uh, you know that we fought we fell through the first one so we have to be able to use that and uh, you know we go up that because that sprays us and then that's an elevator we push this because that's a button that little thing and uh, wood floats so we can uh, get on that or we can just go around it honestly we can also uh, use the wood panel that we've gotten to float our restarts which is fine I don't need to restart right now and we can just we can push this along if we want and, you know have that don't really have to and then these are the finish marks so that was the tutorial and that's you know fine score you want a low score that's a move count so as few moves as possible would be to get a good score there's not an o overall leaderboard yet but there uh, probably will be especially if a lot of people like it I like this game but one thing I will say is that if you're not me this game will probably be very frustrating because a lot of times you'll find yourself just wondering how is it exactly that I can do this and then you'll worry about it. You can move the camera with a W, A, S, and D, get closer, further, pan it, and that will change the controls as well. So, um, you know, that's back right now to move this way and then I go this way and now it's, oh, oops, okay, but you know, you see that the controls change. So you have to be aware of that in certain situations. So we need to get that. And uh, there we got it. Change the controls. And now we have to worry about the fact that we can't have the open one hit one of these. Because, well, uh, that would, we'd fall right through. So I want to do like that and then do like that again. And then let's see. Well, let's just test. Yes, we are good. And then we push this box onto the button. If we push the box off, by the way, then it'll um, respawn. So let's see, there's our open one, but we can't have the open one there. We have to have it... Uh, no, not there. So we have to have it on the very bottom. There we go. That was easy. And now we can go to the exit. So of course this is a game that's pretty big on your spatial recognition of things and like how well you can process that kind of information with all of the faces of the cubes and things. Sorry for the flashing by the way, uh, if you can see that. But uh, that is 
something that he also is somewhat aware of. By the way, you saw that I beat my score on this by a very large margin. Some of these puzzles are very hard, and you can see the blue ones are the ones I've done, the red ones are the ones that I have not. There are, like, the blue one right under me to the left right now that you can see, that one's really hard. Uh, it took me a long, a long time. And I can imagine that it would probably be a pretty frustrating puzzle for people. But again, uh, if you're the kind of person that gets frustrated particularly easily, well, you have to hope that you're a puzzle kind of person, basically. Okay, so let me do this and that. And note that while, yes, I've done the puzzles that I'm going to show off, that does not mean that I am particularly professional at them or any such thing. Uh, okay, so I need to make a bigger commitment here. There we go. Okay, that'll get me here, and then... Gotta push a box in. And know that you can do these puzzles numerous ways. So some ways might be faster than others. Uh, okay. Okay, we need to push it here, and then do this, and then bring it down there. That's the, okay. We gotta... We gotta be crazy here and figure out a way to get this where we want it. Okay, that, that's not where we want it. That's not where we want it either. Uh, and note that this, just because I'm gonna keep trying it doesn't mean it's gonna work. So let's uh, bring ourselves like this and see that's not quite it, but we're closer. Uh, no. I'll get it eventually. I mean, I suppose I could probably, let's see, that doesn't quite work. But I could probably, no, I, I guess I can't do that. Never mind. And of course, these aren't all of the mechanics. Uh, okay, gotta tilt you that way. Goodness gracious. I'll get it eventually. Okay, that puts it there. That doesn't help me. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's move two. But this is what I'm talking about. There we go. Then we can go to the finish. 149, uh, you know. Could be worse, I'm sure. Ascension. So this should introduce one of the other mechanics. These flip gravity. Which might be disorienting for some, but I found that that uh, particular thing was fine. Uh, I messed up, so I need to die. So let's flip gravity again. Fall through here. And then push the crate, because it doesn't get flipped by gravity. And then we have this here. Let's flip the gravity again. And then there we go. That one's not too hard. Camera changes are consistent, as you can see. And then this one will introduce another new mechanic. You see this block here. These panels prevent you from falling while they're on bottom. So uh, basically... You use these to walk around in the air. Or roll around in the air, you know. Okay. Okay, that was uh, not where I needed it to be. So we gotta come back and try that again. I'm sure that there are faster ways to do this. Uh, did that work? Uh, oops. <laughs> well, see, you need to get used to the fact that changing the camera changes the way things work. And you can, you absolutely have to worry about which faces you get these on, because you can easily mess up. But that time, I got it. And then, let's see, where do I want this one? I need to be able to walk on four, probably. Yeah, okay, so I need to do that, and then we can just roll our way to the finish. So there you go, that's another one. 34, that's not terrible. Uh, I mean, it has speedrun potential if you're good at puzzles. I don't want to show you the level that I'm terrible at, but at the same time, I don't know how to solve the other ones. This is just... this is... hard. <laughs> but I'll give it a shot. You see, it took me almost 10 minutes. So... <laughs> okay, so we need to go harder for this. Darn, we went too hard. Okay. How about... 
how about... There we go. We get one flying thing. Uh, gotta check where I am relative to the thing, because sometimes that's a little hard to tell, but I think that that's my own uh, spatial ability bringing me down. Okay, so... Uh, I happen to sort of know where I want to end up, basically. So that makes this a little bit easier. But how do I get there? Uh, there we go. So then we can do that, and then push that. And now we just need to worry about the ability to get this wood block as the one where we walk onto, roll onto. If you want to call it a cube rolling, I guess. Okay, so we want you to be here. We want you to be here when we're over there. I can't really do much about that. Yeah, sometimes, I mean, even as a math major, my spatial reasoning isn't always the best. Nope, we were, we were close, I think. Wait, there we go. But we've got it so that we can't do it, because we need those on the other side. Well, gosh darn it. How do I fix this, then? There we go. So now we can grab this one, and I... Jeez, uh, this was a commitment that I had to determine for myself. I think that we're in a position where we're alright to just take it. So I will do that. Have one walk, two walk, three walk, and we're good there. And then we can come up here. Uh, no? No, I need to go over there. So this loses me, of course, a few moves. Okay, so we need to... Uh, this one doesn't matter how I do it, because you can go over the water with the floaty ones as well. Okay, that's fine. I have to get it on the same thing basically regardless. Okay, now then I need to get myself into a better position here, and we're fine to roll all the way across. Alright, gotta check where my blank one is. Okay, now I need to... <laughs> we've got a puzzle where we don't want to fall, so we don't want that one to be something that we're using. Okay, so uh, we're set to roll all the... No, we're not. Oh, gosh! Now we have to restart. Oops. <laughs> I messed up. I messed up real bad. Okay, so uh, let's try this again. See if we can get our pro speed runs on. No, that's not how we want it. Oh gosh. If you have pro or spatial reasoning than me, I'm sorry. <laughs> but this is the kind of thing that you can come to expect with this game. It's not going to be easy. Especially if you have as much trouble with spatial reasoning as I seem to. It might be frustrating, but I like puzzle games. I actually do. They're just not the kind of thing you generally want to make videos of, because uh, you will embarrass yourself all the time, and everyone will get really frustrated with you because they see the solution so easily uh, when they're not doing commentary. So <laughs> that's what I want to say. There will, of course, be a link in the description to how you can find this game. It'll just be on the Humble Store. Uh, that's the easiest way to do it. And, uh, geez, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to finish this puzzle. Because, uh, <laughs> I mean, I think that you saw pretty clearly how this game could be frustrating. I know we have the way we want... Oh, we're so close. Uh, let's see, that doesn't help me. This doesn't work for me. That doesn't work either. Okay, let's try one more. No. Okay, so let's bring ourselves over. Oh, wow. Why did I do that? I saw it. I saw it. Oops. But, goodness. Getting this in <laughs> 5.16 was tough enough. Oops. Okay. Darn, we're close, but now we got it. Okay. 
no. It's just, uh, if you take the time to think about it, you can probably plan this out pretty well and not actually have this issue where you just keep trying and failing. But, uh, that's not my style. <laughs> Which is why my solution took me 516 moves. So, uh, you know, learn from my mistakes and don't do what I'm doing right now. I can solve Rubik's Cubes just fine. Uh, no, this is not... This is not how we do this, okay? Basically, I'm sure that there's some optimal way to move through this. I wonder. Okay, that's the empty one. So how many moves is this? This looks like one, two... There are four. Okay, so we can't do this without having done this. Which is what I wanted to find out. Okay, that's not quite it. Oops. Gosh darn it. <laughs> so now we lost all that progress because we had to reset the box. Okay, we got it again. Now this time let's not mess it up. And after I solve this puzzle, if I can possibly solve this puzzle, uh, then I will end the video. And I think you already have a good idea of how this game is going to go. No, I want to be there, and then there, and then I got it backwards. Okay, so if it's backwards, then we do two... I mean, there are going to be algorithms to get everything done. I just don't know them. No, that's not quite it. No. Okay, two doesn't help me. Oh my goodness. Oh my golly goodness. Yes. Okay, and then we want it to be on that face. That's all good. Okay, so we're gonna get, we're gonna get this right. Then we can do this just easily. We get that one. Okay, we're fine there. And then we do this. And this time, we don't mess up. Okay, so we have... We have... One, two, not three... Gosh darn it. Okay. That's the open one. Just keep a good mind of where your open one is and you can do this just fine. Okay, then we can move across this easily. Okay, so now we just do this. And we can walk, well, roll on our floaty thing just fine. And then we need to get on this minecart thing. Okay, but I need to get my empty one on it. So it moves, oops. Camera, camera, look what you do to me. That's my own fault though. It moves, oh my God, I did that wrong. Oh, it killed me. The minecart killed me. No, no, my beautiful progress. My beautiful progress. Okay, whatever. No, I don't want it to be there. I want it to be here. And then I want to be able to get you. Okay, so where do I want to end up? I want to end up close to that. It's just about getting the right permutation, and sometimes that is not my best. Okay, so we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this, and then we got it right. Let me push you. Oh my gosh, that was so MLG. Uh, and then, yeah, that's the one we want. Push the camera just right. One, two, three. We're good there, and we can just roll on over. 
Oops. And now I lost some moves. That's fine. Nope, now we lost some more moves because I'm incorrectly positioned, but now we're good again. And of course, as you continue doing this, you learn the MLG Pro strats, and uh, then you make it over faster. Two, three. Okay, I do have the space to do some sweet maneuverage. One, two. And uh, we're good there. The open one is one of the sides that we can't see, so we're good to move over here. Now, we you can stop them the cart using the box or yourself. Just don't end up inside the cart or you are going to be very sorry. Okay, so what I want to do is change the way I'm moving. Okay, so there we go. Sorry about the sound if you don't like it, but really the music is awesome. It's very calming and nice. Okay, we land on it, and then we do that, and then, uh, unfortunately, we don't have a good uh, positioning, do we? Let's see, we move right, and then we are stuck. Okay, so we're just going to reset that. I don't know if I'm high enough. No, I'm definitely high enough. Uh, but now I don't have a good position. Uh, but this is the kind of problem solving that you'll have to do. I, I mean, I guess I could get on with the wood block, so why don't I do that? Okay, now I land on that. Okay, I got this. There we go. That beat my score by a lot. A lot. So anyway, I, I think you have a pretty good idea of Six-Sided Sanctuary now. And I really... the music is just so nice and calming and... Some of it's just really pretty, I like it. And uh, I think the game is fun, definitely for me at the very least. I like solving puzzles, not necessarily on camera. Because I'm not the best at them all the time. It takes me a little while to figure something out. Pretty often. And then there are all these levels that I haven't uh, yet explored. But why don't we see... Uh, can you not go over there? I guess I can't go there because I haven't solved the puzzle. To uh, get me closer or something, but... You know, lots to do. And there are going to be more levels coming. There's going to be a level editor. I wish I had mentioned these things earlier. But yeah, there's going to be a level editor so you can make puzzles for each other. And, uh, you know, it's fun. There will probably be a leaderboard eventually. Hopefully you guys uh, support this game. But I understand that it's not for everyone uh, in the same way as some other games might be um, for more people. Because some people just can't deal well with frustration. And uh, puzzle games can be frustrating, especially when they have all of the spatial reasoning that this game has. So, you know, I totally get that. So we can just escape, go back to the main menu, Six-Sided Sanctuary, and you can listen to the pretty music uh, underneath my voice while I do an outro. So, of course, there will be a link to purchase this game in the description, and, uh, you know, hopefully you guys liked it. Oh, gosh, all the flashing. I'm sorry about that, though, uh, and he's working on it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this first look. I'm sorry if you were frustrated by my lack of ability in this game, <laughs> but it's it's tough, and yeah, you know. Still, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. <laughs>